So hi, I'm um, Sandra Rama, Rama Essence, Doug Arley, owner and operator of Sauce.net, news portal for the game arrangement community. And what I want to show you people today is um, a new version of the site I'm working on, uh, totally new. You probably won't even recognize it, as you can probably see right now. Um, for this site, I've been pulling a lot of inspiration from a lot of other sites on the internet that I've frequent a lot, that I like, that I like how they do stuff. Um, you might be able to see some inspirations. You might not. I'll explain a lot of it as I go through it. Um, one of the biggest inspirations I had was um, this year at uh, the Sauce panel at MAGFest, um, I was showing off my NetVibe site. My NetVibe site is what I use to, um, to cover the community, how I use to keep up with news everywhere. It's not perfect, but it does a pretty good job as it is. Um, and a lot of people were saying, well, why don't you just make that the sauce? Because it's a lot it's a lot more straightforward. Um, my NetVibe site. This is my NetVibe site. Um, this main tab right here is all my, uh, just the normal sauce stuff. This is, you can see there's RSS feeds for everything on the site. Uh, I have RSS feeds from all over. If you click, it, click a story, it brings it up in a little page right here. And you have your old stories here on the left and stuff. So, that's that. Um, I have a tab for community updates. It covers, you know, VG Mixes blog and MagFest staff blog and VG Frequency. All these great out ones are things that I've already read. I pretty keep pretty up to date on everything. Um, music updates, general updates from all across the community. So that's that's net vibes. That was my major inspiration. So after a lot of people said, "Well, why don't you just make that the sauce?" I was like, "Well, maybe I can I can do that." So. This is the new version of the sauce I've been working on. Um, you can see some similarities with that vibes right away. Um, these two, the main, the main page. Start with the main page. It is going to display, you know, two main news stories, kind of like the sauce does now. These are the sauce submitted news stories. These are the featured news stories. Um, they're submitted in the same way as they were on the old site. Uh, instead of displaying five on the main page, we're only displaying two because the news doesn't come really that fast enough to uh, display more than two anyway. Um, over here on the left side is the featured content. We have uh, for like albums or songs or podcasts or video, anything like that. That's what's going to go over here. And then we have the music updates. Um, if you're familiar with the sauce now, on the left side, we have the music updates. It's the multi-headlines block. This is going to work exactly the same way. It's just going to be on the right side. Um, all this whole left side is uh, obviously inspired from uh, OCR, the way they have their all their layout working right now. Um, down here on the bottom of the right side, we have the Twitter feed. Um, so you can follow us on Twitter. Um, becoming a recent Twitter addict ever since Larry and a few other community members have been all up on Twitter I find it a pretty good way to uh, to get other people to follow the sauce and make it easier for them and, you know it's a really good way to communicate with the community so follow us on Twitter that's twitter.com slash the sauce also on the main page I have the RSS feeds for remix the sauce and combo the sauce this way it'll, it'll really bring bring that stuff forward make it a little more obvious to the community and then all on, over here on the bottom left, we have the where the older news is going to be. Uh, this is not hooked up to any kind of database or anything. This is just test layout. That's why it's showing old RTS stuff. Um, the RTS and the Compo the Sauce RSS feeds right now are hooked up and working. Uh, they're the only thing on the main page that's hooked up. Everything else is just test HTML. None of this is hooked up to database yet. Um, the first tab I want to show you is Community tab. Community tab is much like my Community tab for NetVibes. It just kind of follows VG Frequency, it follows Remix64, that's a new site for the Commodore 64 Remix community. It covers Zircon Sound Tempest, it covers down here Game Music for All, and Music for Games, and then on the bottom right it covers just other sites that don't update as frequently, we have uh, right now have Zofar, 
OC Remix. Sound time is still in there. I need to remove that. Uh, the Magfest uh, staff blog. Um, the good thing about all this is all this is hooked up and working. All of this, as you see it right now, is hooked up and working um, using some JavaScript and Ajax. Uh, it's very easy to edit. I can move, delete, change any of these blog uh, boxes just very simply. So if anybody just you know decides that there's a better RSS feed that I should be displaying, or there's more RSS feeds, it's just real easy to work with. Um, music block or tab rather is uh, pretty similar. It's got overclocked remix, overlooked remix, anime remix, RKO, Amiga remix, and a range stream. If anybody's not familiar with the range stream, it's a RSS feed. Uh, Japanese. All right, well, it's, it's a news portal too, but it's a um, it's a Japanese feed of just remixes and uh, original songs from a Japanese artists all over there. That. Um, the J Japanese scene. Um, as you can see, it follows Overclock Remix, it follows Remix the Sauce too. Um, this is an actually uh, English translation of it because the whole stream is in Japanese. It's a rough <laughs> English translation of it, but it's the best it can really do with an automatic translator. Um, there's a lot of stuff in this that you're not gonna see anywhere else, and usually you can catch some really nice stuff that you wouldn't see normally, like Monster Hunter Remix right here. So, uh, Check that out. On uh, to the artist tab. Right now, I don't have very many artists that I follow. I actually need more. Um, that's because not many artists in the community use RSS feeds. <laughs> It'd make my life a lot easier if every single artist in the community had a blog with an RSS feed, but not many do right now. So, right now, I'm following Zircon. Zircon's blog slash news slash yeah. The best way you can follow Zircon outside of Overclock Remixes forums. Um, I have Seattle Overcoat, Sock Overcoat, whatever he's going by now. I have his blog because he actually has one. And over here I have Big Line Music, which is Vert's website, Jake Kaufman. Um, he keeps it actually pretty up to date. You usually catch a lot of good stuff there. Um, down here I have two open blocks, nothing in them. If anybody knows of any blogs or has a blog themselves that they keep up to date, um, let me know. I'm open to anything really. I have to fill slots. I also encourage all artists in the community to start some kind of blog with an RSS feed because that makes you a lot easier to cover, a lot easier to follow, and just makes things a lot easier for me and makes it easier for, to get new music out there. Um, over here, like the other thing, I have just stuff that's not updated as much. I have the MagFest community thing in there simply as a placeholder because other than that I just have DJ Pretzel's blog which is updated close to never. <laughs> he updated a lot for a while but you know for other things that don't update as frequently I'm gonna start throwing stuff in there. Um, gaming tab. This is something that me and a few other people talked about just because it'd be interesting for people in the community to have um, because it's relevant to the community so pretty much Anything that you would ever need, any feed that I could ever think of for gaming, I have all the feeds here. I have Games Are Fun, I have IGN, I have GameSpot, I have Joystick, I have Kotaku, and over here I have WoW and Setter. That's kind of more for me, but I was running out of game sites. And you know what? WoW and Setter is a game site too. <laughs> so um, yeah, this is pretty much the only RSS <laughs> page that I will ever need to cover any video game news ever again. I don't see myself as ever needing to visit anything else. So hopefully some other people feel the same and can use this for that. Um, another tab that I'm working on right now is the media tab. It's not working at all yet. <laughs> um, normally what this will show is just podcasts, uh, YouTube pages, all kinds of stuff from around the community, because um, there are quite a bit. Um, right now it's not hooked up to any database like I said, but um, what I hope to do is have a switch so that I can switch it so if there's actual live video going on on the Sauce's Stickam page, the Stickam is a live video broadcasting website, there's a lot of stuff always going on in there, we're actually registered as a show there, um, we could do like live radio shows that could only be streamed through the actual thing. 
unless I find something to stream stuff from OS X or just, you know, um, live podcasts, all kinds. It opens up a lot of doors, really. Um, so I want to flip a switch so that when we're live, you can go to the media tab and just watch live. There's a chat room, everything right there. Uh, that's some stuff that's in testing right now. But um, it's one of the other things I'm thinking about adding, working on right now. Uh, up here in the navigation, you'll see that we have the same kind of navigation we have now. It's kind of laid out similar to uh, NetVibes. Um, we have the Twitter. We have our NetVibes page that I will be working on, the actual netvibes.com slash the sauce. I haven't put much in it right now, but I do have it registered and saved. Um, we have our Facebook page, our MySpace page, the RSS feed, which I'm going to display in other places on the site, um, and our StickM site. down here oh, let's see it's not gonna work on this tab but I have put a lot of work into making this compatible with all browsers and getting myself all web standard not web standard because probably some kind of image stuff right now <laughs> but for the most part I'm web standard two errors yeah so I've been putting a lot of work into that um, it should be fully compatible with all browsers across the board. I've been testing that a lot. The only issue I'm having right now is we're fixed with 1280. Um, the majority of the internet's on a resolution that's equal to 1280 or larger. For those of you that are on resolutions smaller than that, I am looking for alternatives. Just this is the quickest, easiest fix right now, and I'm just trying to get stuff working and out there. Um, I, I'm sure I'll find a fix for it eventually, but right now that's what we're working with. But, yeah, compatibility with all browsers is something that we had a problem with on all the sauce sites, and I've gotten really, really good with that, so hopefully we'll see that. And the last thing I want to show you is the actual full news story. Um, this, again, is very similar to NetVibes. This is how the full news stories are going to display on the right side here you have the, um, the share stuff like we have on the sauce right now this share button here is gonna share for the entire internet anybody who follows my Facebook blog or just my Facebook blog rather will know that I love sharing stuff on my Facebook <laughs> so this will make stuff a lot easier for that um, so we also got the tags that we have going on the main site right now and uh, related stuff in the same category on the left side, much like uh, NetVibes, I'm going to have the older news right here. So you can just jump between news stories real quickly and efficiently. And then down here, this is something that's uh, actually already in effect. All um, comments for the sites have been moved to the forums. No more dealing with the, no more dealing with the built-in PHP nuke comment system. As you can see, the forums are already on their way to being themed for the whole rest of the site. So that was one of the first things I wanted to get done. So all comments are now handled in the forums. It makes managing the spam bots a lot easier. It's mm -hmm. already dropped the levels of spam mm -hmm. a ton. Um, so that's it. That's the new The Sauce. Uh, right now I'm looking at releasing this sometime around the beginning of April. Uh, really, I'm waiting on Suzu and Fusion 2004, which is, you know, not really a new story. Um, to get all this hooked up to PHP and running, I'm really, really close, and I'm really excited about getting this out there. Uh, we're finally going to be an effective news portal for the game and community, and um, I hope other people can, you know, use this site to follow the community easier and just really get a feel for the whole community, because um, there's lots of stuff out there that like I showed you today that just, you just haven't heard of yet and this will make it a lot easier to find. So um, thanks everybody and uh, this is uh, Sajarama signing out. Uh, and, uh, hopefully we see this sometime in uh, late March, early April. <laughs> thanks. Bye.